In this video, we're going to do a comparison between Dropbox Business and pCloud Business. We're going to go through a common scenario and show you exactly how to accomplish it in both products so you can see for yourself which one you like better. Stay tuned. Hey, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. Today, I'm going to take a look at Dropbox Business versus P Cloud Business. So, we've always used Dropbox as one of our Tech Smart Boss recommendations, uh, specifically the business plan for your company. They just came out with some new pricing, uh, which actually works a lot better for smaller business because you'll notice that their standard plan, plan now starts at three users. Used to be a more expensive plan that started at five users. You can start with as little as three users now, and, and you get a lot of their great features here. So that's always great. But we recently learned about pCloud, and they also have a business option, and we wanted to try them out as well. So this is their page. Now, they don't talk about pricing on their page, so I won't kind of reveal their pricing other than to say that they are cheaper then Dropbox Business, which made me want to give them a try and take a look. So I reached out to them to set up a trial. If you notice here, you can do a 30-day trial here by contacting their sales team. And they were very open and set that up without any delay. So I've got over here uh, a couple windows open where I've got my pCloud business account and my Dropbox business account side by side. Now, comparing the two, I mean... Dropbox has a beautiful user interface, at least in my opinion. pCloud, you know, it's functional. It has a functional user uh, interface, but the style sheet is not as nice as Dropbox, which you could probably expect just the, the, the magnitude of difference in the size of the two businesses. But in terms of feature and functionality, you know, they, they compare reasonably well. You know, what pCloud does when you get their business account is they add this extra business folder here and they give you the ability to set some granular permissions on what uh, users in your account can do. They give you some branding capability to put your logo there. Uh, they have the ability to invite users and, and set up teams. Very similar um, to the Dropbox structure where you can have your team branding and logo and things like that as well and also set up team folders and groups of users and things like that. So very similar. So in this video, what what I actually want to do is go through a use case that we do quite often and one of the reasons I recommend these tools which is you want to request that users upload some files um, for your team. You, you don't want them to have to create user accounts or anything like that in Dropbox or pCloud. You want to send them a link and give them the ability to just quickly upload a file. So let's go through how um, these products do that and what I'll do is first I'll start with Dropbox. So what's nice about Dropbox is right from their interface, they have a, a, a section here called File Request. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and set up a new request file. So what are we requesting? I'm going to just say, send me the spreadsheet. Now you'll notice that you probably would re set this up a little bit easier because you'll notice that's going to be my file name here, but that's fine. And you'll see here they give you things like you can add a deadline, which is nice. Uh, you could change the folder if you wanted to. I'll keep it there. Let's go next. And you'll get a link. I'll copy that. And I'll just email that to the people I want to collect the files from. And I can put their names and emails here with a message if I wanted Dropbox to send that out. I'm just going to copy this uh, file request. And you'll notice it's www.dropbox.com. So your customers are definitely going to know that it's coming from Dropbox, which is okay. Dropbox is a safe brand. People feel comfortable with that. You could also use Bitly, and I have a video on how to set up a custom domain in Bitly, and you can kind of uh, domain mask that, but we won't go into that today. I'm going to act like I'm a customer now, and I'm just going to pop this into my browser. And you'll notice that it says David Ferguson is requesting. That's a nice touch. Send me the spreadsheet. Exactly what I kind of put in there. And it kind of gives some security messages here for the user. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and choose a file from my desktop. And it looks like I can add multiple, which is nice. And from a user perspective, that user can kind of let you know who is sending it up there. So I'll put my TechSmart Boss email and upload that and let's take a look and see what happened is done and uh, that's it I can submit more files or I could 
gives me a little uh, ability to create an account, a little bit of branding there. So Dropbox is doing a little bit of um, back marketing on your brand at this particular point. But that was pretty e easy and seamless. Let's go over to pCloud and do that same process. So I'm going to go to pCloud. Now here, a little bit different, I've got to either use one of these existing folders or make a new folder. I'm going to make a new folder called my share folder just in this particular case. And let's go ahead and refresh that. You'll notice I'm having to click around and refresh here. So now I can go here and say share and upload link. So I selected that folder that I created. And I can say share upload link. And you'll see here that that'll give me a upload link that I could then copy and paste and send to my customer. So I'm gonna copy this. You'll notice there's some settings here. Let's actually look at the settings where I can edit the message that users are gonna see. Actually, I'll, I'll put something similar. Send me the spreadsheet here. I can set some limits. I can set expiration date. Let's go ahead and save that. And then let's go ahead and copy this. And I'll go back over to this other browser. And let's paste this one in and see what the experience is gonna be. So again, very similar. You'll see here my email address. Doesn't have a little avatar, which is okay. It's got that word that I put those terms I put in there. Send me the spreadsheet. You'll see again the the the, the style sheet is not as nice in my opinion as Dropbox, but this is functional. There's nothing wrong here. Let's see. I'm going to click here to add files. Go back to my desktop and get that same file. And I can add multiple. And again, this is allowing me to put my email address, not my full name, like Dropbox, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and upload that and see what the experience is. Files are uploaded. And again, they're going to give me a little bit of a, uh, you know, a one-time offer, an upsell here to make an account with pCloud. So again, with either one of these guys, they're kind of marketing to your users, which I don't like. I would like this to be more white label. I'm paying them for a business service. That does not mean I want them to go out there and advertise and market and try to recruit my customers from that perspective. So let's go ahead and see the result. I'm going to go ahead and go into that folder. And you'll see I've got one file here from David at Tech. So it actually put that in a separate folder for me. Then I can go in there and see that file and, and work with it uh, as I normally would. Let's go over here and look at the Dropbox one. I'll click in there. And there's the file. Got the full name of the person who uploaded it in here. And the same kind of concept. So extremely, and this is what I was referring to in that the functionality between the two, in almost all cases, is very, very compatible, um, very similar. Uh, if anything, it's just the look and feel. It's the name, uh, Dropbox being associated with your brand. It's how much you're willing to pay extra for that. And then I'll talk more. I'll do a, a more a, a full re review of pCloud and Dropbox business on the blog site. Go to techsmartboss.com slash blog for that, and you'll find that where there are a little bit of differences like uh, pCloud has crypto that you can pay extra for, which is some encryption uh, type of, uh, of software. Uh, Dropbox has paper, which we really, really like. We, we, we really like using Dropbox paper. Um, so there's some pros and cons between both, but if it comes down to just a pure cost consideration, pCloud is something definitely to take a look at. So if you like this video, please leave a comment uh, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on Facebook as well, so you can see these videos on our Facebook page as well, so you can like that. And check out TechSmartBoss.com for more free business resources and stay tuned for future videos.